Hey, what's going on? It's James here. How are you, Silver family? Hopefully you're doing amazing. If you're watching me on YouTube, make sure you subscribe before you bounce out of here. So in this video, I'm gonna give you guys some tips on how you can get better as a solar consultant. <laughs> The way to get better and the way to actually close more deals is you need to measure exactly where you're at right now, right? And I'll explain exactly what I'm talking about because what you track, you can measure, and what you can measure, you can actually get better, right? Let me give you guys an example. I literally just got back from my son's uh, parent-teacher conference and he's doing amazing, right? Super proud of, of my kids. But the teacher, you know, gave me a whole list of things, right? So actually this is the folder. He gave me a whole list of things that she's tracking as far as my son's, you know, activities at school, right? So the things that she tracked is math, then uh, history, uh, the writing skills and things of that nature. And it's really important for the teacher to track so she can measure to see if the actual student in this situation, my son, is getting better. Because what you track, you can measure, and what you can measure, you can get better. And unfortunately, consultants are not tracking exactly whether or not their strategies, whether that's sales strategies, whether that's marketing strategies, they're not tracking it, right? So I want you guys to play at a higher level and I want you to track everything that you do. And I'll give you guys four things to track. The first thing to measure and track is your sales. Out of 10 homeowners, and this is cold market leads, out of 10 homeowners, how many deals are you currently closing out of 10? Is it one, is it two, is it three, is it four, is it five? Whatever that is, you need to track and measure because to be a high closer, and keep in mind, this is uh, cold market leads, right? Cold market, because I know you're probably thinking right now, James, you know what, I'm at like 100% close rate. And I totally understand because that's probably, you know, your family, your friends, and your warm market. So what I'm talking about is cold market leads. So how many currently right now are you closing with cold market leads, whether you got this online, whether you bought the lead, whether you knocked on the door, however you got that cold market lead, evaluate yourself right now out of 10 homeowners, how many deals do you actually close? So is it one out of 10? two out of 10, three out of 10, four out of 10. Ideally, for, for cold market leads to be a really high closer, you should be right around here, right? Either at a 30% close rate or a 40% close rate. If you're not there right now, what I suggest is learn how to sell first because I speak to consultants every single day uh, during my free solar strategy calls and the first thing that the consultant tells me is hey James show me how to generate leads and I always let the consultants know that's great I totally understand that you need a pipeline but the first thing you need to evaluate is how many deals are you currently closing because if you're closing one out of ten or two out of ten you don't need any leads right now, right? Let's stop right there and, and work on your sales skills first. So evaluate yourself. How many deals are you currently closing right now? If you sat down with 10 cold leads, how many would you close? Are you closing three to four out of 10? If you are, great, right, great. The second thing I need you to track is automation because the money is in the follow-up because even if you're a 40% closer, meaning that you close four out of 10, what happens to the other 60% that didn't close? What happened to them? 
because we're really, really good at closing deals at the coffee table, but we're really poor at staying connected and following up with homeowners. So are, do you have a email sequence? Do you have a text sequence? Do you follow up with your homeowners uh, you know, until they basically tell you, you know what, stop uh, emailing me, uh, I wanna unsubscribe, or they text you to STOP or whatnot. Are they texting you that? Do you have things in place so you're top of mind with a homeowner because as soon as the homeowner is ready to move forward, they're gonna be calling you and they're not gonna be calling somebody else. Because when you're playing at a higher level, you need to understand that the money is not at the coffee table, right? Obviously, you're gonna close about 40% of that, but the real money is in the follow-up. So do you have a follow-up sequence, right? If you don't, you should have at least a follow-up sequence after you sit down with a homeowner, meaning that the homeowner didn't move forward, they told you, you know what, I have to think about it, I gotta talk to my wife, I gotta talk to my, my lawyer, my doctor, whoever that may be, that deal didn't close and you didn't close them at the coffee table, you should have at least an email sequence that follows up with your homeowner. Now the third thing that you need, because now you know how to sell, because you're a high closer, you're closing at a 30 to 40% close rate, you have some automation sequences, you're following with your homeowner. So the third thing that you need now is a lead source, right? Let's go ahead and feed the machine. So your lead source can be canvassing or any traditional strategies, but not only canvassing, because I wanna set you up for success. You can't just canvass forever. Maybe some of you guys can. I know a few people at the top of my head, and I think you know who I'm talking about. There's a few people that can canvas literally for the next 10, 15, 20 years, and they don't have a problem with it. But for the majority of us consultants, can't sustain a business model knocking on doors for the next 10, 15 years, right? So what I want you to evaluate is, what is your next lead source? What is your exit strategy from canvassing? Are you buying leads, right? Which can be very expensive eventually and you're competing with a whole lot of other consultants. But ideally, what I want you guys to create is a personal brand. Because lead generation is the activity but you need to have a solid foundation on how you're actually gonna be marketing online because there's a lot of experts out there that's gonna teach you Facebook marketing, which is great, but it doesn't have really any substance. There's no foundation, a solid foundation, and you're gonna probably spend thousands and thousands of dollars for our marketing strategy on Facebook where it's literally gonna burn out within a couple months of you using it. What I always tell my students is create a personal brand because from this personal brand, you're gonna be able to generate leads, right? Because lead is the activity, that's the objective that you want, but you have to create a solid foundation by creating a personal brand. Let me give you an example. I've created a personal brand about six years ago uh, you guys, you know, follow me on Facebook or YouTube and Instagram. Um, the page that I have is James Solnage Expert, which you guys already know, right? But it's a personal brand that I, you know, use to market to homeowners. I create videos around the topics that homeowners are curious about. And from there, they're like, huh, you know what? I like this dude. I can trust this dude. And from there, the call to action with those videos is to schedule a free solar consultation. Right? You can see how much more powerful that is versus just throwing up a you know, opt-in page or an ad on Facebook with a, a house with some solar panels on it. And when you get leads through that source, they're not gonna be great leads, right? They're not gonna be hot leads or whatnot because they don't necessarily know who's behind that opt-in page. But if you can get your face and create videos and homeowners can know you, like you, trust you, you're gonna be able to create a more sustainable 
business model this way to generate leads because you created a personal brand. So evaluate yourself, see where you're at in this process because at the end of the day, once you know how to sell, once you have a foundation, you need to generate leads and feed that machine and the way you're really gonna sustain a lead source, a, a lead machine is by creating a personal brand. Super important. And the fourth thing I want you guys to track is your ability to close deals via online meeting. So are you currently closing like 100% of your deals offline, meaning that you're driving to the homeowner and you're meeting them face to face? That's totally fine. But as most of you guys know, and what my experiences are in, in the field, you know, six plus years ago, I've been in the solar industry seven. Uh, I've been selling solar uh, via online meeting for the last six years. And what I've noticed during that one year that I'm actually driving around meeting with homeowners is I was wasting a lot of time, especially for myself. I was in the Bay Area. It would take me like an hour to get to the homeowner's house. And, you know, I would be lucky if the homeowner answered the door. And if they didn't, I'll be super frustrated because now I have to turn around and drive another hour to get home. So instead of driving around in traffic all day, what I created was the ability to sell everything online because if the homeowner doesn't show up and it's an online meeting, no harm, no foul. I just take off my polo top and I enjoy my time with my kids, right? I just go back to hanging out with them, not a big deal. But as you can see, if I drove there, if you drove there, we'll be pretty freaking frustrated, right? If the homeowner didn't show up. So the last thing that I need you to evaluate is how many deals are you currently closing online? Is it one, is it two, is it three, is it four, is it all of it? Ideally, to live a life of freedom, right? Because it's great to have a book of business, it's great to have a great pipeline and, and, and your calendar is booked up like every single day, but the only problem with that is you don't have a life at that point, right? You're literally meeting homeowners every single day, every single weekend, even though you're making great money, you don't have time to spend it with your family. So what I want you to do is start incorporating online sales along with your face-to-face. -face. Obviously, I don't want you to jump into it like, you know, uh, head first and be like, you know what, today I'm selling everything, uh, you know, online or whatnot, right? I want you to gradually work your way into selling deals online. So if you're currently selling zero deals online, the idea is to start selling one deal online, right? And as you get more comfortable, uh, you know, every single month, start adding more and more deals and transitioning from offline sales to online sales via Zoom. So those are the four tips that I need you to work on. If you wanna dive in deeper to learn strategies on how you can increase your sales, how you can automate your sales process, how you can position yourself as an expert, or even how to sell deals online, go ahead and click the link. It's gonna be somewhere around this video. Schedule a free solar strategy call, and I'd love to talk to you and see if I can help you in any way, use some of the strategies that I've been using over the last you know, seven years, and I wanna be able to pour information in you so you can change your life so you're not driving around all over the place or whatnot, meeting with homeowners. Uh, so you have more time to spend with your friends, your family, and your loved ones. Other than that, before you take off, make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel. Peace.